Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Hey! Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Okay, okay, before you get all huffy, you... It was Snow who let me go, all right? It just... There was no sense in me staying in jail. She... She said so herself. Don't soil yourself, Woody. I'm sure he understands. And if he doesn't, he can take it up with the missus later. Stop whatever the hell you're doing and go back to jail. Now! Okay, relax, big guy. He's a shithead, but he didn't kill anybody. Well, come on in, buddy. Brent. What? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Right? I mean, you must not be feeling too good after that shit show. Yeah. I'll only be here two minutes. I just need to check through Lily's things. <laughs> Whatever. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think with... I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Grant, really, you... You shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you mumble. Have you seen Lily's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? Um... Is that stuff supposed to be here, or...? Nope, haven't seen it. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? The doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep, like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. And I feel like having a drink, okay? You sure you don't know where Lily's things are? You should care about this, since it's important to the case. What did I tell you before? I'm sure I don't know. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. I'm talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. Right now I couldn't give a shit what you think. No? No. Well, I can tell. Whatever. It's all right. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. It's just a quick slug. Not gonna hurt anybody. And then we'll, you know, help you out with your thing. Okay, guys. E easy now. We'll help you. I'm in my happy place right now, Wolf. Pump the brakes, will ya? Gren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, alright? I can't do anything about it, it's done! <laughs> 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 Why 
What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? I don't want anything from you, Woody. I want there to be a big black hole where your fat, dumb fucking ass used to be. Oh wait, I forgot. It's great you're here, since you were the one who told us about it in the first place. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And none of it would have come out if Bigby hadn't have said nothing. Give me a break, like it's his fucking fault. She liked me, okay? There wasn't anything wrong with it. Oh, she liked him. All right, well that changes everything. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. He thinks you have to pay chicks to touch your fat, hairy ass. That's what he thinks. Just get out of here, Woody. Grin. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the rule. Maybe, uh, ogres, too. You're such a waste of fucking... Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. Just here for Lily's things, Holly. Uh, go back to sleep. Big B. Boss closed. And excuse me, but I'm not in the mood for entertaining. But what the fuck? I know you're not gonna leave. You do what you want. You always do what you want. Do you even give a shit about us? The strays. The ones that aren't in that fancy high-rise. Those of us that gotta work for a living. Holly, just because I live in the woodlands doesn't mean I'm not one of your strays. I'm not Crane or Cole. I didn't exactly grow up wearing clothes. Yeah, I know you didn't. Why'd you even come here? There's nothing here to investigate. I can't be any use to you. I'm just... I'm tracking a lead. Huh. Yeah? Yeah.
Be honest, Sheriff. Why are you going after him? The guy that killed Lily. You could have quit a long time ago, but you're still going. Why? Did they give you this job for a reason? Or was this the only thing the business office would let you do? I'm doing this for Lily. She deserves whatever justice I can get her. I'll take it. If you were getting your glamour on this day, one of these has to be the witch. Auntie Greenleaf. Gotcha. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Oh, thank God. Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on, uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. Let's get going. Crane's meeting her in a few minutes. Listen, we have to hurry. I'll meet you down there. Wait, you're meeting me there? I don't want to hear about it this time, okay? We can't take any chances missing him. I didn't say anything. Good. Got here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. This is it. All right. How do you want to do this? Hear anything? If anyone's in there, they're being awfully quiet. Auntie Greenleaf, I need you to open this door right now. Hello? Hi. You woke me up. Uh, sorry about that. Is something wrong? Who are you? Rachel, who are you? Just so we're not strangers. Dearie, I'm the big bad wolf. Big B. Really? <laughs> wow, I I've heard about you. Have you? Yeah, all about how the woodsmen cut you open, fed you rocks for dinner, and then threw you into the ocean. And you can't even swim. Did it leave a scar? Can I see it? Are you and the woodsmen friends? I heard somewhere that you guys are friends. But, I mean, I wouldn't think you'd be friends after something like that. Okay, kid. Look, I'll make you a deal. If you're good, I'll give you a whole demonstration. I'll be me, and you'll be the grandmother. Though, uh, I don't know if Miss White here would necessarily approve. <laughs> okay, deal. Is there, um, is there anything you need? I'm not allowed to let people in. We're looking for a man. A skinny, pale, nervous fella. Have you seen him? My art teacher says men are a waste of time. Do you go to school? Sometimes. Is there... Uh, something you want? I don't think I can really help you. Maybe come back in the morning. Well, this has all been thoroughly enlightening, but... I'm still gonna have to search the apartment, so... Step aside, kid. Oh, wait, please! I don't know if I'm allowed. Oh, it's okay. Really. We'll be very quick, and he won't touch anything. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Okay, Mr. Wolf. I'm gonna trust you not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. What are we looking for specifically? Crane. He could still be here. No one's been over all... A butcher. 
What's that? A package. Having to do with someone called the Butcher. I saw one just like it at the Tweedle's office. Not here. There's no one here but me. Where Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. I saw a spider over there yesterday. Oh? It was a pretty one. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? There's nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? Your mama Hunter? Oh no, she never... That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain. I think. That your mom? Uh huh. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. Shouldn't say that. Nothing. Keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now, please? Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I've tried. No, please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. I don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Look, I'm already grounded. Just put it back exactly where it was, please. Be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna. I don't wanna get in trouble. Uh, 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 leaf. It hurts when you do it that fast. What? Not sprightly enough? Why, Rachel? Why the little girl? I don't think that's any of your business, Wolf. Why? How about because it works? That's why. Like good enough for you? Even worked on you? Didn't know you had a soft spot for children. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. I was born in the woods to a jackal and a deer. Not that. None of this pathetic witchcraft crap is gonna prevent me from prying what I need from your gullet. Now tell me where Crane is! I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something! Unless you want a recipe for owl stew, there's nothing I know that would help. I'd be very, very careful if I were you. You're not as cute as that little girl. You have a lot to learn on how to treat a lady. Greenleaf? When I was starving and homeless and out on the streets, nobody gave three sticks of thought about me. And now I'm supposed to care what you want? If I helped you, I'd be strung up on the Statue of Liberty before the morning commute. No thanks. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something, you have to forget it. This is more important. You should be a lot more afraid of me than whatever horseshit you think will come back to bite you. 
You have no idea what's going on, do you? Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the Fables, who can't afford the glamours from you, come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two Fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but please, don't do this. Greenleaf Snow's right. The tree has to go. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here, and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girls' speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. Just please, you can catch him if you leave, okay? Just leave, and don't... Don't burn my tree. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Don't destroy it, please. Orders are orders. Doomed me. Do you know that? I told you everything. And then you extinguish the only measure I have in this horrid world. What monsters are you? What horrible, evil, villainous, warped monsters are you? I have nothing! Nothing! You took everything from me! I have nothing!